On today's Sadao Korea, we talk about legendary rock band Puhar's concert and classes on Korean culture and K-pop being taught in American schools. Legendary rock band Puhar has announced they will be holding a concert marking their 34th debut anniversary. This is more on today's cultural news. Korean rock band Puhar will hold a concert marking the 34th anniversary since its debut. The October 12th concert, titled Born Again, will include all the band's hit songs and serve to showcase its past activities. Singer Park Won Gyu, who was Puhar's fifth lead vocalist, will also join the stage. The rock band produced numerous hit songs over the years, including Story of You and the Rain and Never Ending Story. The band also produced a number of talented vocalists, such as Lee Seung Chul, Kim Jong Seo, and Jung Dong Ha. Park Won Gyu in particular made a debut with Puhar's fifth album in 1997. He went solo the following year, but recently created buzz by rejoining the band as its 11th lead vocalist. Amid the K-pop phenomenon, which has increased global interest in Korean culture at large, it's been made evident that starting next year, K-pop and Korean culture-related classes will be taught at public schools in the United States. The Los Angeles Unified School District in California has adopted Korean culture, including K-pop, as an official course of study. According to the Korean Education Center in LA, it marks the first time the school district added a course on Korean culture and not Korean language. The center last week held an introductory meeting on the new course with public school officials. The course will comprise of classes on K-pop, K-beauty, K-fashion, K-drama, K-food, as well as the history of Korean immigrants to the United States and Korea's economic growth. Eight schools in LA will offer the course starting next spring semester.